Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, with me, uh, episode 64. Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> I ate so many of the peanut M&Ms and so I'm like, hell. <laughs> Too much sugar. Episode 64. I am humbled in your presence, your majesty. Oh, please, dispense with a needless formality. Ah, yes. How's that little girl doing? Your new family member, I mean. I've seen her on paper, but not in person. Come to think of it, I've never seen your wife up close either. It'll be more appropriate to visit with your wife rather than my, by yourself. She had an urgent matter to attend to. Oh, that again. You've been saying that for six months. Now I'm curious. What sort of matter is more important than having an audience with me? And I hear you're getting along quite well with your new wife. Does it mean we can finally look forward to an heir who looks just like you? I already have an heir. We also newly adopted a child. No, no. The new child is a girl. You should have at least two sons. The more sons, the better. Your brother passed early, didn't he? <sighs> Producing an heir is one of your most crucial duties, although your family isn't a caster. You've been treated as one for generations. Why do you think that's the case? This is frustrating. Your grandfather wasn't like you. Besides, I'm not asking for much, am I? I even took your side in the Academy incidents and the recent trial. I only asked for a fair trial. Is that a problem? My daughter's confidant was involved in, this, in that case. But still, I practically took your side by not taking hers. Don't you agree? This person, this king or emperor, I don't know what he goes by, I forgot, but he's a sketchy one. All right. Oh, you're doing right now is military exercise. From the recent talks, I could tell the ambassadors were up to something. Those damn rebels must have snuck into, in the, into other kingdoms and dukedoms wheedling them to turn against each other. Tell me, Theodore, their deal, what is that you ever do properly? The Imperial family doesn't know how much, how many rebels there are. This is absurd. <sighs> What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? I can never have a proper conversation with you, can I? I shall no longer use some petty excuses to keep you here. But your portrait must be finished. Stay in the palace until then. Okay, I have a very dark, dark aura feeling towards this person. Like, oh. There's even a portrait of the first duke. A founding father of this country from 380 years ago. But there's no portrait of you, even though you're the hero of the recent war. His Majesty always wished you to have one. Your Grace. Your Grace. Huh. A portrait made by an imperial painter would be a far better than the ordinary ones out in the streets. And you must leave a portrait since your statue recently broke. We will make you a grand portrait to be, a, to be exhibited in the palace. We made the schedule as tight as possible. It'll take three days. The rest will be up to the painter. Make it two days instead. Your, your grace. <sighs> Two days? Not saying that he will be sitting like that for 
the entire two days, like 20, like 48 hours straight, but just sit like that for most of your days as the painter, you know, capture your image. That's a lot. My, my bottom would go numb. Uh, please do not move, your grace. Oh, the painter is like, <gasps> Today the second day, master. But the basic sketch isn't even done yet, is it? Shush, boy. May I come in and watch? Oh, this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Your Grace. Please, people are watching. His Majesty doesn't wish for Her Highness to be hurt anymore. But why should I? Please, think about what she had to go through to, in society after you refused to marry her. Oh, she's so desperate. That servant. He looks rather different now. <sighs> How adorable. <laughs> How is the palace, Your Grace? Her Grace will be coming back tomorrow. Save it for tomorrow. Huh? Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> Your Grace, would it be all right to make a stop for a while? The horses are quite exhausted. Our horses? No, the other carriage. Um, let's take a break for a moment then. I shall tell Joseph to fetch the horses as soon as possible. That princess is so annoying and that king is scary. He seems to use a lot of stuff over the Grand Duke's head. And I don't know. A war seems to be, is hinting a war. That's what I'm thinking. I don't like it, but it's getting interesting. All right. If you guys enjoy the way I reacted and read this webtoon for free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and i'll catch you guys next time bye